I am Leslie W. LaPere. By day, I am a farmer. By night, I am an artist. And I live in Harrington, Washington. I farm ground that has been in the family for 90 years. And essentially, nothing has changed in my life. When I was a youngster, I drew pictures and I played in the dirt. And as an adult, I am continuing to play in the dirt as a farmer and working with colored pencils and drawing at night. I was born in 1946 in Spokane. My mother was a very creative individual. She was a good cook, she sewed a lot, and she was an active gardener. And when it came time for my sister and I to be entertained, she provided us with blank paper and pencils and lots of crayons and so the creative juices started to flow at a very early age. I went to college at Washington State University and I received a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Graphic Design and a Master of Fine Arts in Painting. And today I do a lot of graphic design and I do business cards and book covers and logos and colored ink and pencil drawings. I have a very good friend who has a master's degree in jewelry design and both of us have combined our talents on a project and it's entitled Sandy Parr. We have decided that instead of making something and trying to figure out who to sell it to, that we would figure out a group of people that had disposable income and make a product for them. And Sandy Parr is the name of a company and we make Champlevé enamel ball markers and pins and charms primarily for sporting people. Never too old to rock and roll, baby. We also do buckles with Sandy Parr, Champlevé enamel buckles, but uh, our focus primarily right now is on uh, ball markers for golf courses and golf tournaments. We also do pins for ski resorts and charms for hotels and restaurants and nonprofit organizations. Champlevé, it's an old French method of taking a copper sheet and applying glass to it that's melted at 1350 degrees, ground smooth, refired so it becomes shiny, then it's either silver or gold plated. And a drop hammer is used to create negative recesses in the copper sheet that contain the different colors of powdered glass. I like art um, that is uh, narrative, that is colorful, that tells a story and has subject matter to it. That's good art to me. If I had to make a choice between art and farming, I would select art. Art is cleaner. You can utilize more of your creative problem-solving techniques. It's more colorful. It's of higher interest to me than farming. I love farming, don't get me wrong. I love the landscape and I love the heavy equipment and I love the the movement of the heavy equipment over Mother Earth and I like to do things over and over again sharpening pencils or driving a tractor over the same piece of ground nine times during one year and I like the repetition of it I like tools uh, whether or not they're pencils or uh, uh, air wrenches or hand tools screwdrivers and and uh, pliers, etc. And I like the manual labor element of farming a great deal. You get to work with your hands and, and solve problems and take things apart and put them back together. And that is very similar to art where you start with a blank paper, you add to it, and so it's a more of an additive process. But uh, there are a great deal of similarity in terms of my love for tools, like so. I'm an active gardener, and I share that with my uh, best friend and my darling wife, Eva Simova. We have a very big garden, and I love gardening. And I like to cook, and I love to travel to foreign lands. One of the things that people don't know about me is that I'm a, an accomplished juggler. I learned it when I was in college. I learned it from the second string quarterback at Washington State. His name was Bill Smith from Hoquiam, and he taught me how to juggle. <laughs> I think I'm living my dream, and I know that I physically that I will not be able to farm for the rest of my life. 
So I think that probably my long-term goal is to figure out how to gradually move out of farming and to be able to support myself and Eva on my design and artwork. That's my goal. I'm a passionate person and my art and design allows me to express some of that passion and love for life in my design work and artwork. I like being able to be an artist and a farmer, which is an odd combination, and I like that. I like being different. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.